The Earth Orgobe 46mm Variable Neutral Density Filter comes well packaged in a recycled cardboard box. Inside the box is a metal container which protects the filter. Unscrewing the container reveals a variable ND filter. The filter is well protected inside the case with a soft spongy material that will stop the filter from being damaged during travel. The filter itself is very well made from magnalium and the glass is Japanese AGC optical coated with an 8 layer nano coating for a truer light transmittance, added protection from scratches and fingerprints and easier cleaning. Earth claim this filter comes with a lifetime guarantee. The filter is double threaded meaning you can use the lens's original 46mm lens cap if needed. This filter has hard stops, a minimum to maximum locking mechanism to prevent over rotation and the dreaded X effect. I don't see an X effect with this filter. Just to note, this filter gives you 1 to 8.6 stops of ND. As filmmakers we need ND to keep our shutter speeds low. A variable ND is far quicker than having to swap out standard ND filters. Variable NDs are not as good as standard NDs and can soften the image, add an unwanted vignette and will definitely add a colour cast to your image. The reason I use variable NDs is for convenience, I just don't have the time or patience to be constantly swapping out filters. So how does this earth variable neutral density filter perform in the field? Well let's find out. Let's start with a colour cast. Every variable ND is going to give your image a colour cast, even the expensive filters. As you can see, this earth filter gives a slight magenta tint to the image. This is no big deal and can easily be graded out in post. With my filter being a smaller size 46mm, which is a common size in the micro four thirds world, I was worried that this smaller filter might add a vignette. I'm happy to report that this filter has no issues with vignetting that I can see. As for flare, here is an example of the Panasonic 25mm f1.7 with no filter attached. All you can see is a green ghost from the sun. Now here is the same shot with the variable ND added. I see no other unwanted flares or artifacts and only the green ghost again. And finally let's look at sharpness. Looking at the example here, I can honestly say that this filter does not soften the image at all. Even the corners are not affected. So to conclude, this earth variable ND filter is awesome for the price, which only cost me £31 from Amazon.co.uk. I've seen no issues with flare, vignetting or a loss of sharpness. Yes it does have a colour cast, but so do all the other, far more expensive variable ND filters. I do wonder how a larger filter from Earth would perform. Perhaps I'll buy and try the 82mm version next. So the Earth Gub 46mm variable ND filter comes highly recommended, especially for Micro Four Thirds users. Thanks for watching.